Welcome to Orlando, Florida and the campus of UCF. The Knights are ready to rock an FBC Mortgage Stadium already bouncing as these fans have been preparing since early this morning. The Knights will kick it away to start. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So North Carolina's offense takes the field to start this game off. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Ooh. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this, and that keep me as a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that side. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Pulls and fired complete. At the 45 on his way. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. But Jet Sweep pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Listen, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. I love the play call. I think you keep running the football and stay physical. That's a great play call there, guys. I love it. Listen, they didn't get the first down, but this QB sneak on the very next play is going to get it, and this drive's going to keep going. And so on their opening drive of the game, they want to stay on the field, and the offense will go for it on fourth down. Complete out of the backfield. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. And the Tar Heels will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, North Carolina! Well, you know this offensive coordinator strips his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown, everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. He'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So UCF's offense will have its first possession of the game. And you'd better be sharp throwing the football to the outside, Jesse, because both of these teams have lock-up corners. And they're really good at baiting you into throwing their way as well. You've got to be careful. And, David, I like these guys, too, because they're not afraid to get their face in the fan and support the run game. No doubt. It's fun because when you're a defense and you can shut down half the field, you can do so many different things to give other guys help because you trust these guys on an island outside. The Knights want to move quickly. They feed him again. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Up. 
He'll do it himself. Makes one man miss. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Knights have it with a first and ten. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. On the ground, it's Montgomery. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Motion from the offense. Quick pass on the jet motion. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one. He's going to fire deep. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The give to the tailback. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Unloads to the right. They intercept it. He didn't get a lot on the return, but, man, he set his offense up at the 30. Well, we know these are slick conditions today in this game. Wide receiver just didn't seem to really get a good grasp on the ball when it hit his hands. Didn't stick right away. There's a, a bit of a bobble, and because of it, the defense able to come away with the pick. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Finds a crease at the 20. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. From the gun, give on the inside. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. See if they can get it done on second and goal. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. And love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Running back goes in motion. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. And he's got it! Touchdown, UCF! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays.
space for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. They'll run the option. He'll pitch it. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. A lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. The Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Running it to the right. Still on his feet at the 45. Hits the accelerator to the right. Touchdown, UNC! And once he got loose, it was all over. And he did make that extra point. No issue with the treacherous footing. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Wisconsin dug down deep and found a way to secure a coveted road win. And who knows how the pundits will view this one, but I tell you this, it sure beats trying to explain a bad loss. It's one game, you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. The Knights are in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pass hits, picked off. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. Rain, sleet, snow, sun shining. I don't care. I get interceptions. Give me that rock. So first play of the drive coming here from their own 49. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leads him in second and manageable. Uh, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Inside the 30. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. And this receiver is so dangerous. There's so many different ways that he can hurt a defense. you got to throw it to him conventionally, but find creative ways to get him the football out in space and let him go to work. Dropping back, it's Harold. Pocket starts to collapse. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Man, I love the decision-making right there. Like, drop back the pass, look for your shots. You don't see it. Tuck it, get positive yards, makes the next down even easier. That is a great heads up early down play for this QB. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He's right on target. Touchdown, Tar Heels! And they take it in for six more points. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. That makes the score North Carolina 21. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? 
This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Wide open downfield. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. The Knights come to the line in the hurry up. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. Brown wants to pass. And the quarterback is snowed under. You know, I love defensive ends that are active and violent with their hands. Great job fundamentally by that DN getting that sack. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That player is so lucky he did not put that football on the ground. What a tackle by that defender. Phenomenal individual effort getting that tackle for loss. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Get the touchdown, get the first down, or just get down. And the quarterback does. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. And that is no good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Trying to start the drive with a pass. He wants to go deep. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there after the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Flips it out in the flat. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. They're facing a third down. Looking downfield, it's Harold. He'll take a deep shot here. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And the Tar Heels will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll try to really get into this one. A low-line drive and not his best work. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the... And the freshman will chalk up a sack. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack. It's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Simon. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. He's going to pass. 
And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabs it in the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Pulls and fires complete. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To throw, it's Harold. Trying to beat the D deep. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. The Tar Heels with the first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Going for it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina! These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll immediately call timeout. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll throw it on first down. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment, and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. He got it. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Dropping back, it's Harold. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man.
with the score. North Carolina. And the Tar Heels will kick it off to start the second half. Number 37 set to kick this one away. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speaking. Very Going to take a shot. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Line gets set, first down. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense goes to the option and he didn't get the pitch off and he paid the price and guys they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long from the gun wants to pass and the quarterback runs out of time and down he goes at the 38 now on fourth down they'll try to come away with three Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And that is no good. Well, the field goal didn't quite make it through, but still an 18-point game. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play. Big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe afterburners coming. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. The Knights will hustle to the line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. It's first down from the 11. Brown will throw it, makes his connection. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The aerial assault continues to the end zone and is picked off. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. He'll off one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And there was some eye contact going on there on that last play. Press man coverage. The receiver was looking at his guy like, please throw this up for me. You know we got this one. I'm going to beat this guy at the line of scrimmage and make a play. Quarterback, there was no doubt where he was going with it. That's just two guys being on the same page. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Fast motion from the offense. Got his man quickly. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires deep toward the end zone.
the route is on. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Texas Tech was able to squeak one out in front of those home fans in Lubbock. In fact, I think in the end, the difference may have been Red Raider Nation who will enjoy this win. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Quick pass on the fly motion. He breaks the tackle. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Lining up to convert third down. Brown wants to pass. It's complete. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Move the chains with that completion now on first down. The give out of the gun. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Man, and you see those sticks, and you're like, dude, third and short. I just got to fall forward and get the first down, Palmer. But the defense comes up big and gets the stop. So on offense, don't overthink this one. Fourth and inches, just line up something easy. You know you can execute in your sleep and go keep this drive going. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but running toward the tape. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. Now on first down from the 43. Here comes the option. He'll toss it. The pirouette on the run. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Great move there. Tackle is made after the first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. 
Quick release by the QB. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. One of the nice things about RPOs is that it's a slow-developing mesh between the QB and running back, and that allows these receivers time to get vertically downfield and work their routes. You saw it right there on that play. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Makes the grab on third. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Fielded in the end zone, it's Richardson. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And now on second down for this offense. Brown will throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And that is his fifth interception. If he comes out to try for six, he'll be lucky. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Lyman late in the game, man. When you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. I think one of the keys of this defense's success all season has been how good they've been stopping the run. They are a top 10 unit when it comes to rushing defense, and it's helped them out this year down in the red zone. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to take the three. From the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. Bringing it out. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help them too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give them some easy throws. Let's see what they've got on second down. Brown wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Working that left side. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. I'm sorry, you're unlikely to win today, but here's a fabulous party game. A late touchdown. In a lot of losses, you just want to burn the tape. You don't want to watch it. But I think there are some things that they can take into next week from this performance. No doubt. Offense is about finding your rhythm, finding your groove, what you do well. And you can tell, at least now, starting to get a little something, something going. Maybe you can do it. Yeah. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball.
The North Carolina offense returns to the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step too here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the running back. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. Shows off another move and gets down to the 33-yard line. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like, when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. they got to get a stop. And if it's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis.